Hey guys, Coach Sue here with Physique Development and I put up a question box on my story and today I'm going over the question, is it okay to lean forward as you squat or as you split squat? So I'll put the question up here or maybe it's up over here, who knows, he'll edit it in. Um, but with that, I did wanna talk a little bit about bodies. So each person's body is different and unique, we all know that, but it's very important when it comes to lifting because each person's anthropometric metrics aren't going to be the same. Your limb lengths are different, your movement patterns, your levers are all going to be different. So you can't generalize or just say, don't lean forward during it, or don't bring your knees over your toes because there are going to be exceptions. There are going to be different scenarios. So when we're looking at this, I'm gonna go ahead and squat and just show you what it looks like. Uh, and I just realized what chunky shoes I have on. So these are not good for squatting and we will go flat foot today. Um, so with a squat, with me, I have longer femurs and I also have a long torso. So if I'm able to squat, if I go down into a squat, I get to about right here with my chest up. If I go any further, my chest starts to go down. Now this is something I can't really change. If someone were just to say, keep your chest up. Okay, let me go ahead and try. And I'm on my butt. So. I just can't keep my chest up because of where my limbs are, and that's okay. So a few different things, it can be based on limb length, and it can also be based on ankle mobility. So that's where something like these wedges can come into play for either limb length or ankle mobility. So if I'm able to step on these wedges, and let's say I go down, I'm able to stay much more upright and not fall on my butt and be able to be in a good spot here. So this is something where you can utilize some different things to your advantage instead of just saying, hey, I can't squat or hey, I can't lean forward. Now some lean isn't bad. It's not that you have to be perfectly up straight to be able to squat. Some natural lean in there. What we wouldn't wanna see is we wouldn't wanna see you go down with the weight come here and then go down like that. That wouldn't be super great. And we're also, if you're looking at high bar versus low bar, you're gonna have a different positioning. But there are a few things you can do to fix it if you feel like you struggle with that um, and being able to change around having some um, heel elevation in place to help with your squat movement.